السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو ناصر سافٹ ان دس ایگزامپل وی ول سارٹ دس ایرے ان اسینڈنگ آڈر بائی سلیکشن سارٹ سلیکشن سارٹ از اے سمپل سارٹنگ الگوریدم دس سارٹنگ الگوریدم از این ان پلیس کمپیریزن بیسڈ الگوریدم ان وچ لسٹ از ڈیوائڈیڈ انٹو ٹو پارٹس دی سارٹیڈ پارٹ ایٹ دی لیفٹ اینڈ اینڈ دی انسارٹیڈ پارٹ ایٹ دی رائٹ اینڈ فرسٹ دی اسمالسٹ ایلیمنٹ از سلیکٹیڈ فرام دی انسارٹیڈ ایرے سو وی فرسٹ وی سلیکٹ دی دی اسمالسٹ ویلیو ان ہول ایرے اینڈ پلیسڈ ان دی لیفٹ سائڈ اٹ دس پروسیس کانٹینیوز موونگ انسارٹیڈ ایرے باؤنڈری بائی ون ایلیمنٹ ٹو دی رائٹ اوکے سو لیٹ کنسیڈر دس ایگزامپل Okay, the first one is not 11, this is 64, then 25, then 12, then 22, then 11, okay. So first, we start from the here and check which is the smallest possible value in this array. So we are here, okay. So we check is 25 is less than or greater than 64, okay. So in this example, the 25 is less than 64. But we see the mini, uh, minimum value throughout that array, okay? So again we go to here and 12 check. The 12 is now the minimum value and 22 and 11. So we find the 11 is the minimum value throughout that array, okay? So in next when we draw that array here, for example, this, okay? And here, the 64 is swapped with the minimum value that is 11. This is 11 and 64 came here. Okay. And all other is just like it stayed before. Okay. So now our first our counter is inside this one. Now the counter is moved to the second element. So now again we find the minimum value throughout the array okay so first we compare the 25 with the 12 okay so 12 is the minimum then 22 check and then 64 we check so we find in the uh, 25 12 22 and 64 index the 12 is the minimum so here just swap the both of the value okay here you go okay so first is 11 and now 12 is swap with the 25 12 here and 25 sorry here okay then 22 and then 64 so now our counter is here okay in the third position and we check the 25 22 and 64 and find that 22 is the minimum value so we swap the counter with the that value in the next step okay so first it 11 then 12 and the counter 3 the swapping value between this 22 and then 25 so basically these two values are swap and 64 okay so now our counter is at the this position okay so again we check that we find that 25 and 64 25 is the right place it is the minimum we find the 25 is the minimum value so now this whole array is sorted so the 11 is the minimum then 12 then 22 then 25 and then 64 so this is called the selection sort so in, in selection sort first we start at the uh, location 0 and find the minimum value throughout uh, the array and then place this array in the leftmost place and move the counter okay to one and then the, uh, we check the remaining uh, array okay other than the first array basically first is already is the minimum value then we again uh, check the whole which is the minimum value okay then if we find that value and swap with that counter okay and we uh, with that then we process so that 
we find the whole array sorted so hope you will understand so now let's see it pseudocode if we talk about the pseudocode of that so let the size of the array is n okay so we are started from for example this is a loop that is for loop okay and we start from the i okay i am writing the php code so therefore the variable is just indicated by the dollar sign okay so i is equal to 0 and i is less than n and i plus plus okay and the starting bracket of o and here inside the for loop at start i declare a variable that is low and assign it the value of i variable so at start it is the low uh, low have the zero value okay so here inner for okay and inside this one this is the variable for example j and it start from one next element of the i okay and same it's is less than j is less than the length of i okay and here j plus plus and inside the inner for loop body here we check the minimum value of the array okay in each iteration for example we check if the array array of j index is less than array of low index okay at start the low has zero then we just name we just note that index inside the low variable that is array of j so whenever the element is less than the previous low value minimum value of i okay so then we find the low the index of the low or minimum value okay so this code just tells that to find the index of the minimum value okay so here and j plus plus okay okay jo, j automatically plus okay so here close the for body end of for inner for okay so here inside the outside for we swap the value which uh, which is a minimum uh, value okay so we find the index of the minimum value so here swapping code is this one if array this is array okay array of i is less than array of low index which is just this one okay when we find the low index so we check the current index if less than the array of low then we swap the value and swapping code is very simple just declare a temporary variable and assign it the array of i element and swap the value array of i and array of low value just replace the low with the i and place the array of low with the temporary so this is the code of swapping the value okay and the inner for loop so after this code execution you will find that the array is now sorted so hope you will understand this is the pseudo code of the selection sort okay so let's see its time complexity okay so this is the for loop so this statement for example let's consider this is c1 and it executed 
n times okay so basically it start from the zero and length of the array is n so it will execute it n times okay so inside the for loop this statement is for example c2 and it will execute it n minus one times basically one time less than the uh, the uh, whole length so basically why this is n time and this is n minus one time the reason is that even the condition is wrong so it will check the whole condition so therefore it executed by the n times and it executed by the one time less than n minus one time okay so it always include the condition check so therefore it is n and it is n minus one time and this is the the whole that loop for example the time is c3 and it will execute it by so basically what is the value of n so i will start always start from the one plus the index of i that is zero okay so for the first time it will execute it n times for the second time it will start from the one so it will execute it from n minus one so the next time it will start from the two when i is two so it will execute it by n minus three so if we go to the series n plus n minus one plus n minus two m to so on one so at this last when n is equal to n minus one okay when i is equal to n minus one so it will execute it one time so this series is n into n plus one divided by two so the time is c3 that is equal to n is n into n plus one divided by two so now this statement executed by n minus one time this is also c5 n minus 1 and this is also c1 minus 1 basically it is inside the outer for uh, in uh, outer for loop okay so if we find the time complexity that is c1 n okay this one then c2 n minus 1 then c3 in this one and c4 this one c5 and c3 send so, then the equation is like this one okay and when we solve this equation okay give me a minute then the equation is like this form a n scale plus b n plus c and this is o n scale so the worst condition time complexity of selection sort is n scale so the selection sort has two nested for so therefore its total time complexity is n scale o n scale big o n scale for both best and worst case so hope you will understand don't forget to subscribe my channel for more informative videos stay blessed have a nice day